Psalm 87. His foundation is in the holy mountains. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to those who know me. Behold, O Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia, this one was born there. And of Zion it will be said, this one and that one were born in her, and the Most High himself shall establish her. The Lord will record when he registers the peoples, this one was born there. Both the singers and the players on instruments say, All my springs are in you. Psalm 87. You know, the Bible tells us that there is a place on earth that God calls home. That's absolutely true. The Psalms tell us that God will rule the nations of the earth from this place. Wait a minute, Rod, what are you talking about? That's what the Bible says. And Psalm 87 adds that it will be from the Lord's foundations in the mountains of God. What in the world? Where are these mountains of God? The place is called the city of God. And the gates of Zion are mentioned as the dwelling place of the children of God. Now, the Bible tells us that the springs of God flow with beautiful water from that place. If we look at the book of Revelation, we learn that it is more or less Jerusalem. However, it is called the New Jerusalem, and it will be different than before. In the New Jerusalem, God will be present, and the people of God will live with him. For now, Jerusalem remains his footstool the place where he keeps his feet until his enemies are conquered. Isn't that something? That is absolutely stunning and amazing. And actually, I would say the place we live now or the time we live now, time is, a, the, is created like uh, everything else was created, that the time that we live in now is a time that God has chosen for his grace to rule. A time of grace, a time when the church is exposed to the world and is supposed to, explain the message of Jesus Christ and talk about Jesus Christ came, died on the cross and rose again miraculously and gave his life for the cost of our sin and that we can have eternal life if we come to him and the Holy Spirit will come and if we do, will come and live in our hearts. That's very important, a unique time right now. This time will come to an end very soon. And when it comes to an end, it's gonna be very dangerous for the people who truly love the Lord. And I believe that the people who truly love the Lord will be suddenly taken out of here for a reason. Now, if you have your Bible guide, turn to today's passage, A Place of God, Psalm 87, 1 through 7. And uh, if you can, do me a favor. And if you don't have a Bible guide, write for it and uh, use the address on the screen or go to BibleDiscoveryTV.com. Or if you have a guide already, or if you don't want a guide, that's fine. Uh, we would just appreciate it if you would pray and ask the Lord if he would uh, have you give any uh, offerings to this ministry. Thank you so much. Very, very important. The place of God. Father, I pray today as we focus on this, that we would see what you're saying because this becomes important. This is something that we need to hear, especially now, especially in this time right here. Wake us up. I pray that this program would get to as many people as possible and other programs like it that are talking about the place of God, talking about the coming of Jesus Christ. Help us to hear your word. In the name of Jesus, we said together, amen. Keep in mind, I read the Bible literally because the Bible says that it's to be read literally. And when I do, it makes a lot of sense. Psalm 87, one through three, his foundation, his foundation is in the holy mountains. His foundation is in the holy mountains. What in the world? Verse two says, the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Absolutely. It says in verse three, glorious things are spoken of by you, O city of God, Selah. 
Now, what does this mean? Glorious things are spoken of about the city of God. The Lord makes the difference in the city of Jerusalem. It's God who does that. He and his presence is in the center of our being. He is the presence and the center of our being. As a Christian, as somebody who loves the Lord and I invited Jesus Christ to come into my heart, his spirit came and lives inside of my spirit. He is the Lord of my life. Before I make any decisions or do anything, I check with him first. Lord, help me. I got to make some decisions here. I, I, I pray about it and I ask the Lord to help me. Sometimes it's a quick prayer. You know, Lord, help me to make this right decision. And sometimes it's a longer prayer, but I pray about it. P-R-A-Y, pray. Very important. Read my Bible and pray. Read my Bible and pray. This is the important things that we need to remember in this world with Facebook, Twitter, and all these other things. We need to get alone, turn the cell phone off, and turn the TV off, and we need to pray and read the Word of God. This is what the Bible tells us. These are words of the Psalms. And so as we continue in the words of the Psalms, verse 4 and 5, it says, I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon. Really? Absolutely. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to those who know me. Behold, O Philista and Tyre, God speaking, with Ethiopia, this one was born there. And of Zion, it will be said, this one and the one that were born in her and the Most High himself shall establish her. What's he saying here? God is telling us something important. Being born of God and belonging to God is remarkable. That's amazing. God has done this for us in this time. God will change the status of Jerusalem. She will no longer be an upsettled and political bed of trouble. It won't happen anymore. God is going to change her and it's going to be very interesting as he comes and rules. So we learn, that's what we learn in the second verse that we read. We need to remember that. Now, let's go back to the scripture and learn some more. The Lord will record when he registers the people. He's gonna record this. This one was born there. That's what the Lord, I mean, it says what he's gonna do. And then verse seven says, both the singers and the players on instruments say, all my springs are in you. These, all my source, all my inspiration. So remember that music holds important meaning in that city. Music is important. We learn to sing and communicate through music, the sound of our soul. Music is so important. And a lot of people say, well, you know, they talk about music today. And they say, well, music's just entertainment, you know. No, it's not. Music is the sound of our soul. How many times have you heard people when they're singing music and they say, oh man, it's just the sound of my soul. I'm inspired. Well, the question is, inspired by what? I mean, it's one thing to be divinely inspired and it's quite a different thing to be inspired by another spirit or by yourself. Beloved, we must understand when I first came to know the Lord, God dealt with me and he said, Rod, you need to listen to music and sing music that I have put in place. Now, back in those days, some of the music wasn't the greatest. So I said, okay, and I, and I sacrificed a little bit, but I only listened to Christian music for probably, um, you know, 18 years of my life until I understood what was happening. And I still pr pretty much listen to only Christian music. Occasionally I listen to music that is uh, instrumental and all of that. But beloved, we must understand the importance of music. We must understand that God has us designed to sing a new song. Very, very important, beloved. We must understand that music is the sound of our soul. And if it's the sound of our soul and our soul has been saved by God, then we should look forward to God. And so, beloved, today I would ask you, we are looking at the Psalms, which is music. These are words. And if there are any musicians, if there are any singers, and there's a few groups that do this, who are out there, what a great exercise it would be to go through the Psalms and put together music. Put these words again to music. Believe me, God will be pleased 
if we start to do that.